This is the story of a small boy who wanted very much to fly into space. He was called Booster because he was always trying to discover a new sort of booster rocket to shoot him to the stars. Everyone laughed at Booster, but he was much cleverer than people thought. For one day, he did discover a quite new type of lightweight, slow-burning rocket booster. Then Booster really set to work. He hammered and banged day and night, until one day a little girl looked over his fence and cried, "Booster has built a real rocket!" People still laughed and said it would never work. But early one morning, when no one was looking, Booster put on a spacesuit and climbed into his rocket. A few seconds later, there was a big explosion, and the rocket shot into the sky. People rushed out of their houses to see what the noise was about, but all they saw was a smoke trail disappearing into the clouds. Meanwhile, Booster, inside the rocket. Was feeling very pleased with himself. He went faster and faster, and soon Earth was left far behind. The sky became quite dark. Thousands of stars appeared, and the moon looked very near and bright. Through the vast expanse of space, Booster flew on and on and on. Where would he end? Booster began to ask himself this: Where am I going to land? In the excitement of takeoff, he'd forgotten to plan for this. When he passed the moon, the space beyond seemed very large indeed. For the first time, Booster felt a little scared. Then he looked at his fuel gauge and saw there was no fuel left. Now he began to think how nice it would be to be safely back on Earth. Looking out of his window into the strange, empty world outside, he wondered whether he should change course and try to land on the moon. Suddenly, through the silence, there came a strange bleep bleep noise. Booster looked about to see where the noise was from. To his amazement. He saw that a small flying saucer was drifting beside his rocket. Why, I'm not alone in space after all! He cried. I wonder what strange creatures are inside the flying saucer. For quite a long time, the flying saucer kept alongside Booster's space rocket. There was no sign of the pilot or anyone else inside. But every now and again, there came from it the curious bleep bleep noise Booster had first heard. Was the flying saucer signalling to him? Booster couldn't be sure. He hoped that whoever was in the flying saucer was friendly. Suddenly, the flying saucer disappeared from view. Booster couldn't see where it had gone, but soon after this, there came a loud knocking on the door of his rocket. Booster's heart beat fast. Who could it be at the door? Dare he open it? Supposing that outside it was an enemy creature from space. Booster plucked up all his courage and stepped to the door. He pulled back the bolts and looked out. The strangest little creature he'd ever seen was floating outside. It was the pilot of the flying saucer, which Booster could see hovering close by. The figure seemed quite friendly and smiled at Booster, who could see it was a boy of about his own age, although it was different from any boy he'd ever seen. "Do not be frightened," said the visitor. "I am Bleep, a space boy. Are you in trouble? Your space rocket seemed to be slowing down, and I thought I'd better see if you needed help." That's very kind of you," said Booster. "I've run out of fuel, and I don't know where I am or how I'm going to get back to Earth. Take my hand and come with me. You will be quite safe in my flying saucer. Others will come to look after your rocket and bring more fuel for it. It will soon be ready to fly again. Why, that's wonderful!" cried Booster. "I've been watching your flying saucer and wondering where it came from and who was inside." There was just enough room inside it for two people. 
Leap started the engine and the strange craft set off further into space. Where are we going? asked Booster nervously. To my father, answered Bleep. But first I want to land on the planet Myron to find a special plant for my collection. Myron soon came into view. It was only a small planet, but Booster could see ridges of tall, spiky mountains. Bleep flew the flying saucer carefully over the mountains and landed on a dust-covered plain. He and Booster climbed out and stood on the ground. This is what I came for, said Bleep, pointing to some rocks. From between the rocks sprouted tall red flowers with thick blue stems and long leaves. Suddenly there was a great echoing roar.